buy in, especially as a kid. And like I said, if you kind of get a hint of who I am, basically I kind of thought I was in the category of being bisexual, but I think if you read, which is called a uh, other uh, documentary, I mean other. Yeah, watch other documentaries. You can kind of feel my uh, what my sexual orientation is. Actually, I'm, and you can kind of understand my racial background, which is mixed with Spanish, French, Indian, African, I guess white, or Caucasian, whatever, or black, or I guess African American. And Jewish and uh, Polish. Since I found out that the king of Poland was King Simeon. Actually my family comes from not only royalty but slaves. Which kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of think twice about my heritage. Even though a lot of people look at me and see a white boy. Actually I'm supposed to be a African American or black. Some people might say I'm a Latin, I mean, Latino or Hispanic. Some people might think I'm Arabic if I grow my beard. Some people might look at me and think I'm a ladder, whatever. My sexual orientation, well, I thought I was basically bisexual because I, I like men, women and men. It's like for my sexual orientation, I do look at young ladies especially. You know, they top chest, uh, breast, titties, whatever you want to call them, knockers. And I started to kind of think about, I guess, in my mind, having sex with them. But then I mostly push towards guys. So I guess that's, if you read, like I said, if you're going to read also other biographies, which is The Sacrifice of Jeremiah, uh, the memoirs of Jeremiah. If you're going to read the man, the story, and the legend, which is a uh, Jeremiah Simeon, the man, the story, and the legend. And you may also read the story of Jerry, which is my fictional kind of autobiography about the entertainment business. Well, kind of thinking about all of that, I also had what's called. a spiritual experience as well. But I remember going to different schools, especially going to elementary school which was a lot yeah, elementary school which was in Lotel. And it went up from kindergarten to eighth grade. And then they have a Lotel head start as well as where I went. And then thinking about going to school. I was bullied at, at the time. I uh, something I don't like being bullied. But uh I think a lot of people go through it. And it was like I said it was hard to make friends. I think I was kind of friends with my brother's friends but not really. And then I had all these different jobs I had working for these different companies which I didn't really like these nine to five jobs I feel as though a nine to five job is good but it's not for me I think uh, this modern life really is not for me it's almost like a killer for me basically and I think the entertainment business is 